Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Ooh, it's bright. We're trying to get an early start today because we don't want to be out here working in the sweltering heat <laughs> that the afternoon brings around this greenhouse. So I don't know if you guys seen, but on our last video, we started working on some benches in here. And they're coming out so, so nice. I'm very happy with them. And I think Roxanne likes them too. No, oh, yeah. I do. <laughs> She's over there busy watering her grass. Yes, because like you just said, it's going to be hot today. Well, not grass, her garden. Yeah. Let me rephrase that. Yeah, it's going to be very hot today. So I want to make sure it's got water. Yeah, so you've been watering like two, sometimes depending, times a day, right? Uh, two for sure now. Yeah. Yeah, I've upgraded from one time a day to two times now. Yeah, and you, ha you have to do that during the summer. It gets so hot, the ground gets dried up, as you guys know. And next thing you know, your plants are all wiltering and withered away. And maybe with some more water, we can finally get some red tomaters. <laughs> they're not, they're tomaters. there, they're just not red yet. No, there are so many tomatoes on these plants, it's insane. I know you guys can't see them all, but they're everywhere. Um, they're just not ready yet. But I told Roxanne I can't wait until there's a big plump red one because I'm going to pluck it right off and eat it right away. Because I love, that's one of my things I love, is inside the garden grabbing tomatoes and just eating them. I love tomatoes, so I'll eat them. I, you know, I like one of my favorite sandwiches when I was growing up. I haven't done it actually in a long time because I have meats and stuff. But just a tomato and cheese sandwich on toast with mayonnaise. That's like one of my most favorite sandwiches. Yeah, there's tons of tomatoes everywhere. <sighs> but, it's gonna be busy, busy today too, guys. Sorry, this lighting is not that good right now. <laughs> so, time of day. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be busy, busy today too, guys. We got <clears throat> some people coming over later. I'm giving one of the roosters away. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Oh, I know, we should have. So, how many are in there? <laughs> We have four total with the one on the other side, right? Or five. 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 We're gonna, five we're, total. We're going to be down to four. Maybe that's, he'll take that one that's hanging out with uh, Frank and Medina right now. Well, I told him he can take whatever one he wants. <laughs> and I'll point him out to the one that sounds like he's underwater yeah. every time he crows. Well, he does his job. That's what he sounds like. He's in there with all the ladies. I know. They seem to get along, but... They have women? Hens? Yeah, they got hens, yeah. There's no rooster? No rooster. So, we shall see. We shall see. Where did my coffee go? Did you guys steal my coffee? There it is. Ugh. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So that's what we're doing right now, guys. We're hanging out in the garden like we do every single morning <laughs> with our coffee. That's the first it's thing like, I do when I wake up in the morning. It's like, get... I take a shower, get ready, grab my coffee, and I come out to the garden. Mm -hmm. And then I'm usually out here, sometimes for a while. Yeah. So that's when I do <clears throat> a lot of the harvesting out here is because it's, it's cooler. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's not hot yet. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah. Hey, um, I don't know if you told them about what I did yesterday. No, I haven't said nothing. I'll mm -hmm. that real quick. Yeah. What did you do yesterday? Yeah, so exciting things happened yesterday um, for the first time. <laughs> I actually got to uh, preserve a lot of the food that I've been harvesting. Um, like we just mentioned, we come out here like every day um, and pick stuff. And recently it's been my bush beans over here. They've just been producing like crazy. Um, I, actually, there's some out here that I need to pick. And I was just out here yesterday and picked a bunch. And there's a bunch more out there that I need to get. And then my... Uh, so, <laughs> back to what I was saying. is I made some... I canned and preserved some green beans for my bush beans over here and I actually weighed everything that I got and I think I had almost four pounds of green beans that I harvested so yeah. far can you guys believe that almost four pounds like, I'm good with that I it, love green beans it was like right below four pounds and I ended up getting um three jars three big pint jars of uh green beans but of course I was you know canning them and uh, one busted open inside the thing, and I, so I lost a can, which really... It's a jar. Yeah, really, really made me upset. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I also got to harvest 
and preserve some of my cucumbers, pickling cucumbers here. Yeah. Those made, I, you, I I say you made a whole bunch of relish. Yeah, I was gonna say I made a bunch oh. of relish. Um, I think I got four jars, not the pint size, the smaller ones of um, <clears throat> relish, and I actually harvested so far, guys, four pounds of pickles so far. I weighed everything. I'm like really trying to keep hey, track. I'm good with it. Yeah, and so obviously I'll keep. Per, uh, Preserving the green beans as they come. I'll pick them and then freeze them like I've been doing. Cucumbers, I'll just have to hoard on to them until I feel that there's enough. Yeah, those bush beans, um, I was telling Roxanne, I said, those have been, like, really, really good. You grew beans before peas. Yeah. Like snap peas, snow peas or whatever. Uh-huh, I've grown. But yeah. You I... only get, like, two or three little peas off of it, and then the plant usually wilts off and dies. Yeah. You've tried growing them um, in the fall and in the spring. And it was the same thing, if I remember. Yeah, I've tried um, growing them every year, last three years. I think the first year I did, I tried it when I grew the garden. And then I waited and tried it again for fall. Still the same thing. Same thing. They just get so big and then they just, I don't but know. But these bush beans, though, they're, oh, yeah. they're, they're going doing crazy, really, yeah, which is really good. They're doing really well. And they're very, very tasty. Yeah, and they're very, very happy, tasty. I would say. <laughs> right now in my garden because I do have a squash bug infestation still. Everybody does, I think. Yeah, I am really trying hard to battle this and um, it's hard. It's, it's a rough one. This it, year. it is very rough. And they came early this year. They came super early I think this year. Rachel left a comment. Um, Rusty and Rachel, Robertson Bell Acre. She said that she's having squash bug problems too and they came early this year. So. Yeah, normally they don't come around till I want to say like end of June, beginning of July. Definitely in July and August yeah. they're here and that's usually when I'll lose all my zucchini plants. Um is around those times like I start losing them. But and this year they're pfft. Yeah, and it's crazy because Roxanne, she's tried neem oil. She's done vine bore surgery. <laughs> on some of yeah. your plants well some but... people have said, said you know maybe it's vine bores it's no not... it's not vine bores i've been checking that too yeah we were wondering about that but she's we've used like i said the neem oil we use different um like a the dawn uh, dish soap solution i got this that she uses yeah i got this vegetable this... garden bug spray but it's also been raining so much you spray it on and then it seems like it washes off yeah she's gotten this stuff and i was hoping this would work really really well yeah, right. I'm trying it this year. We're looking at like research and different things, and it's, you know, it's supposed to be really good, but it ain't working. But we're, working. we're still, we're still trying this stuff. And we're I trying to be as organic, you know what I mean, as possible, but that's that's hard. Oh, like, it's, well, without I'm, using any pesticides is what I'm saying. Like, yeah, and I'm like overran with squash bugs. Like I'm out here. There's hundreds of them on. Well, a, yeah, on like you say, I'm out here at least twice a day. And I'm picking eggs off. I'm pulling the, yeah. the killing babies. I'm pulling the adults off yeah. and killing them all. Like I'm trying. She does her due diligence, guys, when it comes <laughs> to stuff. But I got two this, plants over there that are surviving and doing yeah, well. Yeah, this, these zucchinis. You need to pick that yellow squash. I know. I need to get. I gotta pick it oh. today. But these zucchinis. This. I don't know what happened. They just said net nah, not this year. Because if you guys know in Roxanne's garden last year, we were overran by zucchinis. We had so many zucchini, it was impossible to eat them all. And so, like, as you guys see, look, I mean, this is horrible right here. This plant, that's yellow squash. That's doing very well, believe it or not. And then this zucchini plant came back right here, and that's doing good. So the original ones she planted are just dying off, and it's the bugs. Yeah, the bugs. It is the, the bugs. I mean, that one's still okay. I mean, it's got flowers on it. I don't know. I don't know. I might have to just rip them out. I told Roxanne, I said, you know what? Maybe just these dead ones that are, I mean, you guys can see. I mean, that's pathetic compared, right? But that one's doing okay. Which really sucks because. But that's a summer squash. Yeah, every year I've been growing zucchinis and they've been doing very well. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you got to, like, see, we got some stuff ready right now that needs to be picked. But then like that zucchini molded, look. It's moldy. It's not, though that's from the squash bugs. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, those are from the babies sucking all the nutrients out of the plants. Yep. 
I mean, the other day I was out here and it happens so quick. Like I'll come out here, I'll check everything. I'll, you know, rip off some eggs, maybe kill a couple adults. Okay. And then I'll come out here a couple, you know, the next day or a couple days later and I'm checking the plants again and then there'll be a bunch of babies. Yeah. And I'm like, where do these come from? You know, <laughs> like one leaf I lifted up. There was so many babies. I like ripped the whole leaf off and just threw it on the ground and stomped on the leaf. <laughs> there were so many babies on there. Hey, on a good note, though, <laughs> you got some good stuff growing right here that just yeah. is going crazy, well, huh? First off, let's just take a minute to admire this beast right here. Yeah. Look at this guy. And that's supposed to be a short one. Yeah, these are the miniature ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, miniature. Yeah. Really small. <laughs> I mean, the stalks on these things are so thick. Yeah, I, mean, I was they, checking that. They, would they yeah. withstand the windstorm pretty well out here. Yeah. Um, but look at this one. But Roxanne's been waiting for these to come up yeah. and do their thing. I've been waiting for it to open. She's very proud of it, and it's a very pretty sunflower. Yeah, it opened today. That was the first thing I noticed. Oh, my, oh, my sunflower. I, it's been wanting to open for a couple of days, but it finally So opened. here I am. Okay. Here I am. There's Take a, a look at me. I'm ready. There's a spider on it, too. I know, I've seen it. Spider can hang out on it. That's fine. He was hanging out on it yesterday, too, when it wasn't even all the way well, open. He'll, he'll eat all the bugs that aren't supposed to be on there. Yeah, maybe come over there and eat some of those squash bugs. Yeah, there's a whole feast over there for you. Yeah, there's a bunch. I just, killed, <laughs> I just took care of a bunch of eggs and killed a bunch of babies. And, you know, it's, it's just... Ugh. It is. It's frustrating. And there's a whole more buds or whatever. You know, all these sunflowers going to be coming up. That's not a sunflower, is it? Yeah. That is, too? Yeah, these are different types. I don't oh. know what these are called, but see how they're like purple. Yeah, they're pretty because yeah, they got like purple. Stems. I noticed that too, and then yeah, this whoop. one, this one, and then this one's like that too. Yeah, I don't know what kind they are. Maybe they're a different color. I never what thought of a sunflower could be in a different color. They have different colored sunflowers. Hmm. Anyway, wow. very cool stuff. Hell yeah! It's very pretty. It is very pretty. The ones in the back, the giant. Sunflowers, they're not very giant. No, but they're growing. They're them. growing. I got a weed eat it around here again. I got it's time. I gotta bring the lawnmower again and the weed whacker and all that stuff. But I mean they're slowly coming up. A lot more than they, they were before. All the way down, and it's hard to see because all the weeds. I know. That's why I said I gotta grab the weed whacker. But I might do that today. But we got other things we want to get done. <clears throat> But other than that, the garden's looking pretty good. It is. No it's complaints. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Ugh, these volunteer tomatoes decided to make a forest. I mean, those are all volunteers. We're letting them go rampant. And the carrots are almost ready. Roxanne said they're almost ready to be picked. Uh, unfortunately, they're stuck in there with all the tomatoes, and that was not the plan. But that's okay. Not a big deal. Not, not a big deal. Well, good thing is I didn't have a whole lot of carrots in there. No, but you know what? Maybe are carrots okay to be planted by like zucchini? I was gonna say that. Uh, I have no idea. Maybe you can rip these dead ones out. If not, then we we won't do it. But we'll, we'll research and find out. It's just a, a thought. You'll have these empty beds right here. Maybe you can just plant some more carrots or something. I'm I don't not know. sure how good they'll do. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have no idea. You know what I mean? When it's hot. Yep. And pumpkins are doing okay. They're slowly sure. I'm glad we planted these pumpkins. Um, now, last time we waited until, I want to say, the end of May, last year to plant the pumpkins. Oh no, I planted them after the season. Last year. Yeah. When did you plant them, roughly? Would you say? Like August. August. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was way off then, but. Even better then, because we planted them early, because I told her, I said, I said, they're a squash, they should grow. Um, that way we have pumpkins for Halloween time. That's my goal. I want one pumpkin. Yeah, and see, look, they're That Wyatt can pluck, and... I'm going to really try, but they're getting infested with squash bugs, yeah. too. Yeah, well, it's a squash. Um, it's like here, here's... Ragweeds. Some, here's some babies right here. Yeah, they're all over the place. Killed a bunch. Right yep. Here. Look, there's one. Yeah, all over the place, these bugs. Man, man, man. So I've been monitoring these too. It's yeah. Great. It's hard. It is very hard. There's just so many squash <laughs> bugs. Like, I know. I wish there was. And when I first seen that first one, I should have known right then and there when it was like May and I seen him. Oh. 
No, wait. And I'm like, really? Squash bugs right now? Already? This is super early. This is too early. It's all right. <laughs> just, no, well, it's not okay, but you just got to do what you got to do. Keep working at it. And maintain the best you can. I mean, everybody has these issues with their gardens. I, I mean, know. with certain pests. And it, and it seems like every year, except for the squash bugs, they're every year. There's like a new pest that's giving us problems. We've said this before, but we got the Japanese beetles last year that ate the eggplants and different things. This year it was cucumber beetles. Squash bugs every year. Yeah, I've had squash bugs every year. Um, and we've tried, like I said, tried it all. So if besides physically plucking the bug off and killing the eggs, if any of you guys have a tried and proven method for squash bugs squash bugs please let us know that's usually what we do like i said we pick them off kill the eggs kill the adults we do spray a little bit with like some of the stuff to maybe deter the best we can um, roxanne's puts one tablespoon of dawn dish soap into a gallon bucket of spray water that seems to work for a lot of bugs yeah uh, and, and it doesn't hurt the plants. So if that's something you guys want to try for your garden or plants, you can research it all you want. We've done a lot of research. It works very well um, for most bugs, not all. Um, well, I'll say this. Keeps the spiders those, down and everything. Those uh, cucumber beetles. Remember those ones were, that's what happened. Yeah. That's why my, uh, whatchamacallit, Here. the cucumbers over there are suffering right now. Yeah. So that, yeah, that works with the cucumber beetles we found out. And it worked with the Japanese beetles. The Dawn dish soap and a yeah. gallon of water. That does work, guys. I don't know if it could be a different brand or whatever. It just It's Dawn dish soap. We bought a little tiny okay. bottle for like $2 where you can get 10 gallons out of it when you dilute it, you know? Yeah. And so try that if you guys are suffering like we are when it comes to these bugs. <laughs> yeah, these bugs are terrible. But regardless of all the bugs, Roxanne's garden is looking so good, guys. I know, and I already It I looks already so good. I love it. Garden harvest, which I was super excited. I love it. I love the greenhouse. I'm proud of myself. The greenhouse just really makes this garden. Um, I know there's been a lot of comments in the past where people wondered why we put the greenhouse in here. <laughs> right? I told Roxanne kind of the same thing at first, but I left it up to her. I'm glad it's in here, personally now. But we were going to put it way back over here, like by the power pole. You guys know where the power pole's at? And then do like a pathway over there and stuff. But we decided not to do that um, because this is still growing space. That's the thing, guys. You can still grow in there. So you're not taking space away from here. Plus all the tools and everything is like right here. Well, yeah. And we got this. You know? I mean, this is the garden area. I know. You know what I mean? I like, know. You know. Anyway, guys. Yeah. We're going to get back to work today. Yeah, we got things to do yeah, inside yeah. here. We got more things to do. More more things. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Happy, happy Thursday, guys. Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Yay. Everyone's working for the weekend, guys. Yay. Working for the weekend. Da -da -da -da. Right? Yep. Working for that weekend. So stay safe, guys. Stay motivated. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. And we'll catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>